All right. Good morning, everybody. No, 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 no. It is Mother's Day. Good morning, everybody. Thank you. This is the time to celebrate, right? I mean, men, come on. If we weren't here, I don't know. I mean, right, 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 right. Okay. What? You get participate. Okay. All right then. All right. Well, how about we all participate and stand with me, and we're going to talk to our Lord. All right. Oh, dear Heavenly Father, again, just thank you. I, I mean. That's the first, I feel like that's the first thing we should always just say when, when we are coming to you. It's just thank you. Because you are so good. Even throughout the bad days of our lives and we have rough times and we feel like we're alone and, and that no one is around to hear us. Um, what's going on deep in our hearts. We know, that just, we know that you are there. And we can just come to you. And we can just say thank you. Just thank you for being here with us and listening to us and caring for us. And thank you for us being your children. Lord, I thank you for this day. Thank you for all of the moms around, all of the women that are around, Lord, that you have created. And every single one is just, it's just so beautifully just unique. And we want to thank you for all of them. We want to thank you that they have done countless um, things that maybe they are just not too proud of. But, or that's something that just had to hurt them in the process. But, Lord, again, you were a God of love, and you were there for them. We thank you that, for that so much. I ask that you just bless every single person in this room today. Um, thank you for this beautiful day. There's no more rain, but there is, the sun will shine through. Again, we want to thank you for your blessings, Lord. Um, I ask that you just come into this house so we can learn more about you and worship you in your name, Jesus. Voice in your name. And uh, Gail is going to come up for announcements. Good morning and happy Mother's Day to all the ladies out there. I hope your families make you feel spe very special today. I hope you have a wonderful day. And on behalf of the ladies, I would like to thank the men who served us such a wonderful dinner on Friday evening. They really made us feel special and loved and cherished, and we do appreciate it. So thank you, men. It was very, very nice. Uh, we will not be having evening prayer this evening, of course, because it's Mother's Day, and we know you'll be spending it with your loved ones. Uh, on Wednesday, we have our Bible study, our midweek study. That takes place at 7 p.m. on Wednesday. We start with a time of worship, and then we get into examining the scriptures and have great discussion. Please try to join us in person if you can. If not, uh, we do stream it online on our Facebook page, so you could join us that way, too. And then next Sunday is a very special Sunday. We have the missionaries... Uh, Ron and Amy Jones, they were missionaries to Ukraine, and they will be here speaking about their experiences, showing some photos. Uh, we're even going to try to do a Zoom call with one of their contacts still in Ukraine, so please try to make it for that. I'm sure it will be a very enlightening uh, experience, and we will also be taking a love offering for Ukraine that day, so please come prepared for that. Uh, so that will be next Sunday, and it's also a busy Sunday next Sunday because we'll also have our fellowship meal. That will take place after the service. Please make sure you, that you can join us for that. There will be more information coming during the week than the next day or two about that. So stay tuned to your email for that. And also, after the fellowship meal, well, there will be a brief leadership meeting. So um, leadership will be meeting just for a short time. Um, uh, if you have a prayer request or a praise report, please fill out the cards on the back of the chairs. And there's a little box in the back of the church between the two doors. Put, put your uh, request in there, and it'll come out on our email, our prayer request email during the week. If you'd like to find out more about Liberty Worship Center, please visit our, our Facebook page, Liberty Worship Center Fairfield, PA, or our website, lwcff.org. Now I will turn this over to Tracy Paul for the children's Good morning, everybody. Again, happy Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to everybody here, and happy Mother's Day to those of you who are watching from home. Um, so I thought it would be fun to do something a little bit different today. So the Bible talks about mothers, many different mothers, and so I just thought it would be fun to see how well you know the mothers of the Bible. So we're going to play a game show called Name That 
mom. Okay? Very simple, guys. Okay? First question is, who was the very first mom? Was it Ellen, Evelyn, or Eve? Eve. Very good. Okay. Here's a bonus question. Did Eve have her firstborn son in the Garden of Eden or outside of the Garden of Eden? Anybody know? Know that one, Liam? Outside. That's right. Okay. Good job. All right. The second question. What mom made her son a coat every year for his birthday? Was it Helen? Hannah or Heather? Hannah, all right, that's awesome. Okay, who was John the Baptist's mother? Was it Elizabeth, Ethel, or Eve? Elizabeth, good job. Someone knows their Bible moms. Okay, so who was the oldest mother? I know you're never supposed to talk about a woman's age, but the oldest mother, was it Sally, Sarah, or Sandra? Liam. Sarah. Bonus question. How old was Sarah when she gave birth? Does anybody know that? 90. Good job, young man. (laughs) Okay. All right. Um, what mother put her son into the Nile River? Now, she did it to save his life, but she put him in the Nile River. Um, Was it Jenny? Was it Janice? Or was it Jacobed? Everybody's nodding when I say Jacobed, right? Okay, I like that name, Jacobed. Okay. Who was the mother of King Solomon, who was known as the wisest man on earth? Was it Betty, Bathsheba, or Barbara? Anybody know that one? Bathsheba, very good. All right, who was the wife of Isaac and the mother of Jacob and Esau? Liam. Rebecca. Okay. Did you know that Rebecca had the very first set of twins? So, okay. Let's go on. Now, who was the most famous mother of the Bible? Was it Martha, Melissa, or Mary? Okay, both of you say it out loud. Mary, okay. Bonus question. What was her son's name? Say it out loud. Jesus, all right. You guys did awesome. And Miss Carrie is going to have class time today, and she's going to be talking about a mother and her daughter-in-law. Okay? And so you're going to hear all about that in class time. So next week, we will be having Dash for Cash. I know it's not the fifth Sunday, but we're going to move it up because Ron and Amy Jones, missionaries to the Ukraine, are going to be here next Sunday. So... Keep it in the back of your head. Bring in all of your loose change. I'm going to have Gail send out some emails to remind us this week. Um, So Buddy will be here, I think, and um, we'll do Dash for Cash next week and um, have a fun time doing that. So um, I'm going to turn it over to Pastor Jeff. Oh, yeah, I guess. Thanks. Don't ask me how old I am. I'm not Sarah type of old anyway. Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's uh, good to see everybody, and it's good to be semi-dry. I hope you've all dried out a little bit. Uh, a couple of things. Uh, this Wednesday night Bible study, I encourage you to come out if you can. Um, if the Lord allows us, we're going to start a study on the seven churches from the book of Revelation. Um, I'm excited about that. It's going to be a good time. Um, But then I want you also to get on your calendar for May 20th is uh, the next community uh, prayer meeting. Uh, It'll be hosted by Open Arms Fellowship, which is two exits north of the 30 exit on Gettysburg. Um, 
not quite in New York Spring. It's about 35 minutes from here. Um, but a beloved brother of mine, Mark Otsby, is the pastor there. And uh, many of us know uh, John and, and, Sh- and Shelly Mel. Um, Shelly was the worship leader there uh, until she became sick here recently. Um, so our worship team was actually going that evening um, to provide some worship music along with some of the other members from other, the other six or seven churches that are represented. So please, look at your calendars. Um, I really want to go out and bless this church. They've had some really hard times. I really want to bless them. We've been there. We want to just go ahead and encourage them. So, again, Friday, uh, May 20th, I believe it's at 7 p.m. If you, We'll send out emails, but if you need directions, call me. I can set, hook you up. It's really easy to get to. Okay, um, I think that's all I have for right now. Oh, I'm sorry. I do want to remind some, uh, everybody of something. If you or somebody you know, neighbor, friend, family, has any need of medical equipment, crutches, uh, the things you push and walk, uh, whatever they're called, walkers and even the wheel ones and not ones, um, wheelchairs, um, we just received a hospital bed. We have medical equipment here that we keep that we lend out to anybody who has a need. So if you know of somebody or you yourself have a need, let us know. We have baths, uh, bath chairs, shower chairs, all sorts of stuff that we try to uh, aid and assist people who might need those. So think, keep that in mind if you want. Now I'm going to ask Greg Warner to come forward. Thank you. Mothers, we're not finished with you yet. <clears throat> we still have a, a, a little, little gift for you. But I do, I do want to um, thank um, all the help that we had the other night to, feed, to uh, give the meal to the ladies. That was appreciated. And, uh, I think the ladies appreciate it. But, um, what I wanted to do was um, we're going to be giving out a, a gift. Um, it's flowers. Um, but the meat maybe the meaning of the flowers. Um, roses have a, a certain meaning, and we're giving out yellow and white. And the white roses, um, by one of the uh, meanings is uh, purity and heavenly. And then for yellow roses, it's joy, delight, friendship, and new beginnings. So I thought, eh. I mean, I, that was sort of an afterthought, but I just thought I'd point that out. One of the reasons you don't get red roses is love and your sweetheart. Or the yellow roses, but also uh, I wanted to um, thank um, ladies for being here, the mothers for being here. Um, I wanted to point out um, something I had here. Uh, oh yeah, I wanted to say a, a poem for the ladies as well. I don't know where my mind went. This is for the mothers. When I was young. You helped me grow and taught me all I had to know of love and trust and faith and hope and everything it takes to cope. You may have thought I didn't hear or maybe that you weren't quite clear, but all the things you taught me were heeded very carefully. Now I want to thank you for your love, your care, and so much more. Thank you, ladies, um, mothers. um, at this time, I, I do want to do a presentation of the flowers. However, some of you may know and some of you may not. Um, Sarah's mother passed away last night. So, um, Janet Orwig. So, just a special memory. Um, what's interesting is, and God, Mary, Mary, you and I have talked about numbers and how God works on physics and all this stuff. Um, it's interesting because I just want to point out a couple of things. My mom died May 8th, May 7th also, and so that's interesting. Um, I have 19, I ordered 20 flowers each color. One of them broke, so that leaves me with 19. Um, what's interesting about 19 is today, yesterday would have been the 19th anniversary of my mom's death. Um, and I just think that God just does that sometimes just to make you aware that he's aware what's going on. Um, something else. Uh, um, I, and and I, I feel, almost feel like that was like, because the, the rose I noticed was broke. I had one that was broken. And I noticed that it was broken like after I was starting to put them together. And that was before we learned about Sarah's mother last night. 
And so I don't know. I don't know if it makes means anything, but I have one white rose by itself and 19 yellow ones. So at this time, um, could someone help me uh, hand these out? I have uh, two bucket pools of uh, roses, but I would ask that uh, I think I think I have enough. I think I have just enough. But I'd ask if the uh, more mature uh, mothers would come up first for, uh, to, to receive their <laughs> just. Just, just to make sure. <laughs> uh, well, I, well, I said mature. I didn't say. <laughs> Give it up, bro. But, but, but the, the, the mothers, <laughs> the mothers who have a lot more experience. I just ask that you would come forward. And we would like to hand you a, a rose and recognize you for all the effort that you put into raising your children. <laughs> I never fail to put my foot in my mouth. <laughs> so, um, just pick this group down there. Yeah, you can just. Yeah, if there's one that has just white, hold off. You, another. And you'll notice, ladies, that uh, these have, I don't know what they're called. The, the lady at the flower shop called them something that you stick on the bottom and it keeps them, what are they called? Uh, there's, there's some name for it. Since they came with them, I thought I would use them. Um, do we have enough? Oh, there's. Mothers. Oh, I didn't see those extra. All right. Are there any mothers here that that are, that are mothers here? <laughs> right. So. All right, all right, all right. Come on up. I apologize. That, like I said, I had I ordered twenty, um, and there's one that only has a white. Well, um, thank you. Um, apologize again for. <laughs> Not having enough, but I knew it was going to be cutting close. But uh, anyway, I just want to say a special prayer for the ladies, for the mothers. Lord, we just ask that you would uh, reward these ladies for uh, the sacrifices they have made for their children, for their families, for other families. Lord, um, they're special to you, and they're special to us. We just ask that you would uh, give them a double portion of your blessing today. Um, let them have a, a wonderful day today going forward and uh, the rest of the week. Lord, we just thank you and give you all the glory in Jesus' name.
and thank you, Riley. That was uh, quite good. So, um, we're going to go ahead and continue our worship with the giving of our gifts. Um, so, at this time, if you at home, I'll just say, find a church, find a ministry that's helping the hurting, that's proclaiming the gospel, sow into it, and God will bless you for your faithfulness. Let's rise up and worship him. Let's take our positions. morning. If you guys would like to stand, we are going to worship the Lord together this morning. He's an awesome God, amen? Amen.